Hi there, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at Lesson 7.3, 7.4, Day 2, and we're going to be finding the missing angles of triangles and quadrilaterals. Today you're going to be looking for nine things to write down in your notes, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to write down in our notes is how many, ang or how many degrees does um, a triangle have? So for number one in your notes, anytime you add up the angles in a triangle, all of the angles should be equal to 180. So maybe you could put the triangle sum, x plus y plus z is equal to 180. Go ahead and take time now to pause the video, write down what you see here, and then click play to try the next one. So here are some ways that you're going to try these triangles. You know that all of these added together should equal 180. So for letter A, maybe you could write x, plus 28 plus 50 equals 180. And then you would just combine any like terms you have. x plus 78 is equal to 180. And then when you subtract 78 from 180, you get x is equal to 102. Okay, or over here in letter B, you have x plus 45 plus 90 equals 180. I know 45 and 90 together make 135, so x plus 135 is equal to 180, and then I'm going to subtract 135 from both sides. So x is equal to 45. Okay, another way you can check them is just to plug what you got into the triangle and see if all three of those added together make 180. So what you're going to do now is try both 2 and 3. Let's go ahead and pause the video. Once you're done, click play to check your work. Okay, so for number two, we've got x plus 75 plus 30 equals 180 degrees. 75 and 30, that's 105. So x plus 105 is equal to 180. And then when we subtract 105 from 180, x is equal to 75. For number three, you just had to use your a little bit of brain power here with your decimals. So x plus 105.6 plus 28.4 equals 180. 105.6 and 28.4 should have been 134. So now we have x plus 134 is equal to 180. And then we're going to subtract 134 from both sides. So x is equal to 46. How'd you do? The next part of our notes is going to talk about quadrilaterals. So in number four on your notes, you're going to go and write these two things. Whenever you add all the angles in a quadrilateral, which is a four-sided figure, you're going to get 360 degrees. So W plus X plus Y plus Z will equal to 360. Go ahead and take time now to pause the video, copy down number four in your notes, and once you're done, click play. So here's one that you're going to try by yourself. You kind of already understand the process, so I'm going to go and let you start this one on your own. So go ahead and take time out to pause the video. Remember, all of those should be equal to 360 degrees. So whenever, if once you're done trying, you got x plus 75 plus 70 plus 115 equals 360. When you add all three of these numbers together, you get 260. So x plus 260 is equal to 360. And then you're just subtracting to get your answer, uh, x is equal to 100. Again, you can always plug your answer back into the original question to see if it'll equal 360. Go ahead and take the time now and try number 6. So let's go ahead and pause, answer it, and once you're done, click play. The interesting thing about number 6 is it's a parallelogram, so your opposite angles are always equivalent. So 100 is equal to 100, and x will be equal to 80. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and double check your work. Here we are putting together our equation, combining any like terms, all the numbers, and then subtracting 280, and you still get 80 degrees. Okay, but that's just a little hint about parallelograms for number six. Again, let's go ahead and take time now to pause and try number seven. Once you're done, click play to check your work. All right, so we've got our equation x plus 124 plus 90 plus 81 equals 360. 
And we add all of these numbers together, you should get 295. So x plus 295 is equal to 360. And then all we're going to do is subtract 295 from 360. Oops. So for this one, x will be equal to 65. How'd you do? This last two are going to be kind of um, just practicing again your writing equation skills. So remember triangles are equal to 180. So go ahead and pause the video, see if you can solve. And then click play to check your work. Okay, so for this one, your equation should look like this. X plus 90 and then that whole entire corner plus 2X plus 15 equals 180 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and combine like terms. 2x and x make 3x. 90 and 15 make 105. And that's all equal to 180. And then I'm going to subtract 105 from both sides. So I have 3x equals 75. And then divide both sides by 3x is equal to 25. The only thing different here is that now it became a two-step equation. Whenever you put all together your like terms, so just make sure that you undo adding and subtracting first and then multiply or divide to solve. The last one in number nine, you're going to go ahead and pause it one more time. So let's go ahead and pause it. Try to solve for x here. Again, this one is just talking about angles. And then once you're done, click play. All right, so one more time. This one will be 2x plus 4x. And then this one is equal to 90 degrees. We're going to combine our like terms to get 6x equals 90 degrees and then when we divide both sides by 6 x will be equal to 15. How do you do? That's going to conclude our notes for today so just make sure you have nine things written total in your notes. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll catch you next time.